What up Roshi fams, welcome to another Rock That Roshi review and today we're going to be taking a look at the Roshi LD1000s in the sport red colorway or better known as the USAs. We're going to go ahead and talk about the highlights based on my personal experience so without further ado guys, let's go ahead and dive right into it. These dropped in June 2015 and they retail at a price of $100. I got mine at my local Nike town, but you can get these at Nike.com or even find them in some other online retailers or in-store retailers. They brought back the classic running shoe, the LD1000, and created a hybrid with the Roshi that we all know and love. What you get is a brand new shoe that is now part of the Roshi line. At first, I was completely skeptical of this shoe because I just wasn't a fan. However, my try-on experience did change my mind. What changed my mind? Well, let's go ahead and find out. When it comes to the design of the shoe, we no longer have the silhouette of the Roshi. Instead, we have the LD1000 that takes center stage in this rendition. When it comes to the material makeup of the Roshi, we have a mesh upper found in the forefront and mid panels of the Roshi. We have suede from the eyelets down to the toe cap and back of the heel cap. And then there's hits of leather coming from the swoosh, the upper part of the heel, the inner lighting, and of course the collar. Now here's a closer look at the detailing of the Roshi. On the back of the shoe, we get a good look at the suede heel cap, and on top, we have the Midnight Navy leather with the Nike Ward stamp in sport red. Just to bring your attention here, one of the things I discovered and didn't expect was the tongue. I didn't notice this until I saw them and I didn't like them at first. I just didn't understand why it was put there in the first place, but after some research, I'm sure they wanted to stick to the LD1000 silhouette and made the tongue exactly the same way it was back in the 70s. As you can see here that the tongue is made out of foam and that isn't stitched closed. After trying them on, I couldn't complain because it was a nice comfortable fit and that's all that really matters. In front of the shoe, we get a better look at the hits of suede coming from the very top all the way down to the bottom of the Roshi. Also replacing the front pull tab, we have the vintage Nike logo that can also be found in the vintage LD1000s. As you can already tell that the Roshi LD1000s come with flat laces. Knowing that I had some issues with flat laces with the Hot Lava Soul Roshi, there's no problems to report here. I'm actually happy about the length as it's perfect for the shoe and it's not too short. Only thing that I did find about the laces is that it may attract some suede residue on the laces. However, it's not a big deal. Inside, we have a Midnight Navy Ortholite Sock Liner. And as for the design, we have the classic Nike pinwheel logo in sport red. And last but not least, we get a white natural motion midsole. And that would do it for my review. I'll leave you guys on the on feet video and I'll see you guys at the end. have it that does it for my review for the Roshi LD1000 the sport red colorway or the USA's if you want to call it that way let me know what you guys think in the comments down below what you think about the shoe if you guys are curious like me and you wanted to know what the hype about this shoe was all about and you had the opportunity to try it on I say go ahead and try it on because this may change your mind whether if you're on the fence of coughing or dropping 
because when I tried these on, I thought they were pretty dope on feet, and not only that, they were very comfortable as well, too. I might pick up another colorway of these guys, but we'll see what happens. And once I do, I'll go ahead and make a review for you guys, okay? Anyways, guys, if you did enjoy my video, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. Share this with other Roshi fans out there. And of course, subscribe for more Roshi content. But that's all that I have for you guys for today. Thank you guys for joining me. So stay humble, stay inspired, spread those positive vibes. But whatever you guys do, don't forget to rock that Roshi. I'm your host, Dry, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.